I'd like to show you how to view standard notation within the Tablet Edit program, or maybe you're using the free TEF View demo version. Here I have a tab open for Cherokee Shuffle on the mandolin. And of course, by default, the tab notes are going to show, but it is possible for us to display the standard notation notes. It's fairly easy. Now, I am on a Mac, so the process may look a bit different if you're on a Windows machine, but there's a couple different ways that we can do this. We could first go to Tablet Edit menu and click on Preferences to bring up a particular um, box there, but we can also access it with a quick button here on uh, the palette itself with the check mark. I click that, and from there we have several different menus that we can select through to affect our view and various audio things. And I'm going to go down to uh, the next to last one on this current version anyway. It's called the multi-track tab. And there you'll see what is selected for us to view. So right now, the only thing viewable on that first page is the tablature for the mandolin solo. I could select tablature for the guitar rhythm um, as well. And uh, that would not show it here, but whenever we go to a printable view, it would then show both. We have the mandolin tab, and then beneath that is the guitar rhythm tab that corresponds uh, to that. But if we want to see the notation, we could simply click the notation box next there and click apply, and there you see it It placed the, the standard notation above the corresponding tab. So in the same way, when you go to print this, uh, you would be able to print it. And then, of course, we could even remove the tablature altogether and look at only the notation. We could change the view to where it's a bit easier to read. So it's pretty straightforward there how we're able to manipulate our view. Um, one thing that I would uh, caution you, though, if uh, I have some students that say, I only want to see the standard notation. And um, the problem with that, of course, is uh, that on stringed instruments, there's more than one way to get the same note. Okay, so let me extend the measure out here. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. Here we, um, we have an open E string. Okay, but it's possible to get that same E note on the seventh fret here. Matter of fact, we can get that same E note on the 14th fret on the D string. And so with the stringed instrument, we might want to play these notes, the same E note on the open string or on the second string or on the 14th fret. However, whenever you use standard notation, you're not able to distinguish that difference. As we look at this measure, we see that it's E, E, E. And there's no way for us to know that we're supposed to be playing it on different strings. So that's why tablature, it's, it's not a crutch. It's not just for people who don't know how to read music. I know how to read music. I have a classical piano education. But tablature is more useful for stringed instruments um, because it, we're able to tell which string that we'd want to play um, various notes on. So I would encourage you to get used to reading tablature and you can keep it side by side with your notation for a while until you get used to it.